Uh, I'm delighted to be here today to talk about uh, uh, a little project that I think will be uh, a delightful addition to the old Haymarket area. It's nice after uh, all the investment in the, in the new West Haymarket to uh, give some focus and enhancement to uh, that part of the Haymarket that's grown and, and carried us a long way for a long period of time. But the hay market altogether continues to drive economic uh, growth in the community. The community's investment in the Pinnacle Bank Arena is paying off. And as entrepreneurs are building at a pace, they're building now at a pace that's, that's well beyond what we could have imagined in 2010 when the arena question was put on the ballot. We've seen a half a billion dollars of new economic development projects in the hay market since 2009. It's a great, great story and one that continues today. Now the hay market growth is beginning to move south. The Lumberworks Garage is open for business. A senior living facility and retail shops are planned south of O Street on Canopy Street. A very successful local marketing firm, Arch Rival, intends to expand its existing offices. We've heard proposals for more new residential living south of O on 8th Street, and discussions continue about the best means of renovating the old Crawdaddy's building. Additional inquiries about the area south of O Street have sparked efforts by our planning department to develop a new South Haymarket neighborhood plan, an amendment to the downtown master plan. With a number of economic development projects underway or being contemplated, it's imperative in our opinion that the city ensure that infrastructure continues to connect the growing south area with the rest of the hay market in, uh, in, in many meaningful ways. A key to this connectivity is Gallery Alley. alley. This is the north-south alley that connects O Street to P Street between the Burkholder Gallery and the Creamery Building. North is to the right. Is that right, Hallie? Yeah. Okay. So the alley has long been used by pedestrians and is now a major connection between the Lumberworks Garage and the Haymarket. With more growth expected south of O Street, we anticipate that the number of pedestrians using the alley will increase. Unfortunately, Gallery Alley, Alley is not ready uh, for increased traffic. As you can see from this recent video, the surface has deteriorated to a point where walking can be unsafe. Water runoff is accumulating in broken concrete, causing ice to form in the winter, adding to pedestrian safety issues. And we hear frequently from workers in the area and visitors that better lighting would also make the alley easier to use and safer. The time has come to make Gallery Alley safe, dry, walkable, and well lit. Without that, it can become, beyond that, it can become not just a passageway, but a welcoming entryway that people will want to use. The city is moving forward on the following improvements. First, we are resetting and stabilizing the bricks in the alley to create a smoother and safer walking surface. As you can see from the video, the alley paving has already started on the north half. These improvements will enhance the drainage and the walkability of the alley, and the existing brick pavers are being reused to maintain its historic appearance. After the changes are completed, pedestrians will no longer have to maneuver around potholes or unsafe, unstable surfaces. Second, stormwater improvements will help keep the alley dry. The alley stormwater system will be upgraded with a permeable system to allow stormwater runoff to filter through the ground into underground drains instead of creating puddles. 
Third, lighting will be added to provide for the safety and security of pedestrians and to signal that the alley is an active connection between South Haymarket, the Lumberworks Garage, and the historic Haymarket. Lighting will stream from building to building, mimicking the existing LES overhead lines, and additional lighting will be installed on the Burkholder and Creamery buildings. The underside of the Harris overpass will also see new lighting. Fourth, we'll make the historic Haymarket more walkable. Repairs have already been made on the P Street sidewalk north of the alley to make the area more pedestrian friendly. At 7th and Q, curbs will be extended in the near future to create shorter pedestrian crossing and a four-way stop will also be installed. Finally, thanks to an anonymous donor, a new mural will brighten up the gray wall of the creamery building. This will complement the existing gallery art on the east side of the alley, already located on the Burkholder Project building. We are also making improvements to the south half of the alley, including surface and lighting improvements, and those will be timed to fit in with the anticipated redevelopment of the building at 700 O Street. The total budget for the project is about $800,000, which includes $190,000 in private contributions and $200,000 in street construction money. About $316,000 in tax increment financing will be used, mainly on the lighting. The budget includes a $50,000 endowment for alley maintenance in the future. This project has involved numerous partners, and I'd like to introduce some of those who have been involved. Uh, first, I am so pleased that Ann Burkholder is with us today. Raise your hand, Ann. Uh, as a building owner and as an artist herself, Anne uh, was a pioneer, as most of you know, in the development of the historic hay market. And she has been enhancing the alley on her own for decades now. Uh, four decades? Wow. So the name Gallery Alley comes really from Anne and her, and her initial work on the, on the whole matter. And I must say that uh, we have treasured her experience uh, and her participation and assistance on this project. She's made it work. Uh, I think that uh, WRK, is WRK represented today? Will's not here today? Okay. Uh, Devin Wagner from the Creamery Building is, is here today. Uh, we appreciate your participation in the project uh, and the ideas you guys have put forward and the improvements that we're going to be able to make uh, to, the, uh, to the building. I hope they're helpful to you. Also with us is uh, uh, Clint uh, Runge with Arch Rival, uh, who uh, I think needs no introduction, and I think one of the reasons he will need no introduction is because he's willing to speak. You're willing to speak today, aren't you? Come on up All here. Right. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. <clears throat> well, hello, everybody. I'm Clint Runge, Managing Director, Co-Founder of Arch Rival. We're a creative agency. We're in the southeast corner of Gallery Alley. We have this really great Gar window garage uh, opener. And basically, we can open this door and look out at the alley. And I can tell you that over the past eight or nine years that we've been there, this alley has attracted such a diverse cross-section of life. Any given time, you can look down the alley and you will see people taking their senior photos out there quite a bit. You'll see, I'll look out and there'll be an entire wedding par par parties taking photos out there. I'll see photographers and artists painting. I'll see uh, families walking down to the farmer's market. I'll see businessmen on their way to lunch. Um, on the weekends, you'll see a bicyclist or even some skaters out there practicing their moves. 
Uh, we even saw a, a cat or two kind of cruising down, doing their best impersonation of an alley cat. So I've literally seen everything in that alley. The point is that it's already such, the alley is such full of life already that uh, it only makes sense with the expansion of the hay market and the growing interest in what's going on down there that we enhance this uh, alleyway as well. The creativity that's inherent in the area around it with the amazing artists and the uh, different uh, agencies there nearby uh, really make this, uh, I think, such a great opportunity um, to expand on the creative nature of this. So I think in particular that's a, a portion we're very excited about. Uh, so with that said, thank you. We're, uh, we're very excited at our tribal for it. <laughs> You're in the 720 Oaks Street, Yes, right? yep, in the southeast corner there. South of the Burkholder. On this map, it's just left. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Mike Tavlin is here today representing B&J Partnership and Argent, uh, who together are developing the senior housing, retail, and office space connected with the Lumberworks. Michael? Thank you, Mayor. Um, everyone, good morning. My name is Mike Tavlin. I'm Chief Financial Officer for Speedway Properties, and I'm here uh, on behalf of Speedway and on behalf of Argent to um, second the motion, so to speak, and add, add our voices uh, in, in support of and enthusiastic support um, of the plans for, for the alley and for Gallery Alley. Um, you know, the, the enhancement and the improvement of the alley would, would be a great project for the historic Haymarket if that's all that it did. The great news is that's not all that it does. It provides a great outlet for artistic endeavors, and it also pro will provide, we believe, an important connector between the historic Haymarket and our project, Argent's projects for the senior living facility and retail and office space south of uh, the Harris Overpass, and then to provide access and a corridor uh, on further into the South A market. So I'm here on behalf of Speedway as well as Argent to enthusiastically lend our support to the project and commend all for the work that they've done in bringing it this far. Thank you, Thank you Mike. And Darrell Nauman uh, is here today with the Haymarket. He's a Haymarket business owner and uh, would like to say a few words on behalf of the Haymarket Development Corporation. Thank you. I'm the president of the Haymarket Development Corporation, and I want to applaud uh, the effort to uh, uh, improve the alley uh, from the Lumberworks building to the historic Haymarket. Uh, one of the things that's essential as we try to build um, and combine the new development with the historic Haymarket is parking, of course and parking garages, uh, we have been very pleased with the multitude of parking garages, but probably none has been embraced more than the Lumberworks uh, garage. And that's probably because it's very close to uh, the farmer's market. And we have over 7,000 people that come in every Saturday uh, into the farmer's market, uh, and many of them use the alley coming down from the Lumberworks garage. It's easy, it's convenient. Uh, and we notice in the evenings they, they come down to use the, uh, the retail and the uh, restaurant traffic too. So we welcome uh, the, um, uh, the effort to improve the uh, gallery alley. Uh, we, uh, we really appreciate what Joyce, what uh, Burkholder has done over the years. Uh, and we, uh, we welcome uh, the improvement to the alley. Thank you, Darrell. Uh, and finally, Dave Landis, our wonderful urban urban development uh, director. Thank you, Mayor. You might recall that the Lumberworks Garage uh, was the second location that we talked about for a garage. First location was on this side of O Street, but it was in an area that was historic. Historic preservation was very important to this administration and to the Haymarket's identity. So the choice was made to move it on the south side of the Harris Overpass. That left us with a couple of questions. How do you propel the public from the Haymarket, but under the Harris Overpass into the garage? Because while that space is used for senior photos and all of the things that Clint was so uh, accurate in portraying, there is a psychological barrier of walking under that Harris Overpass. This will propel people easily, comfortably, day and night, 
from using the lumber works and making sure that that resource that we now have fits in with the vital evening activities that make the Haymarket unique. We need to have walkable parking space so that people will get out of their cars and walk. When you do that, a city is vital in several different ways. First, it becomes healthy. Cities that invite you to walk are healthy. The second thing that you want for that vitality, particularly when the sun goes down, is a sense of safety. And by the way, this lighting pattern will make this not just something to gulp and consider, it will invite you down this space. It will become a, a destination, a place you will show your neighbors, something that when your evening meal is done in a Haymarket restaurant, you will pause and walk down and experience because of the transformation that that will happen. So the first thing that you want is you want it to be um, healthy. The second thing you want is that you want it to be safe. The third thing that a space like this does is that it adds value. It creates value. People want to stop at the end of these and experience these occasions. I brought my iPhone up with me because I was in Sacramento recently and I was pulled down an alleyway by the graffiti that was on the wall. You can't see these pictures, but this alley, and I have about 18 pictures of it, has an, uh, an alley full of art. I, I chose to walk down the alley rather than the block because the alley was interesting. It was vital, it was exciting. When I got done and I was paused, I was poking my phone, I said to myself, oh, I remember, I need some, uh, some supplies. I walked over to office supply and I bought $20 of supplies. I went to do my day's activities and at the end of the day, I stopped and walked the alley, not the block, to experience it a second time. And when I got to the end, I realized I was hungry and I went to an Italian restaurant and had a $35 Italian meal with a nice glass of wine. The point is that I bought $60 of food and supplies because the alley just made me go a step further and invite myself. The vitality of the urban experience is something that creates safety, it creates walkability and health, and it creates value. And this project will do that. Thank you. It was just one glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> just one, Mayor. <laughs> All right, that's, that's our, we've dropped the whole load on you. Any questions? Uh, Mayor, do you envision security cameras tonight out there? Uh, in all probability. And also, what's the time frame? The time frame for the north half. The north half has already begun and will proceed to the middle of the block. And then the time frame uh, for the south half of the block is somewhat indefinite in, in the sense that we need to respond to uh, development, and the pace of development in the south half, and that depends on decisions made uh, by others, so we have to play that by ear.